Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is time for the next walkthrough part of Telltale's The Walking Dead. This game is annihilating my feelings, melting my brain. It's giving me so many options and so many decisions to make that when I'm done, I'm like, I feel like I need to lay down. Lay down, lie down. <laughs> Case in point. I just finished uh, the last part of the walkthrough and I'm going straight into this part. And it just, I don't know, there's so much decision making and there's so much weight to this game that it makes me feel stressed. As always, thank to my Patreon, it's in the description down below where the more extended version of this reaction goes. There's a whole bunch of other content over there. There's reactions for shows like Gotham, X-Files, Angel, uh, Supernatural, also the extended versions of The One Who Live, The Ones Who Live, and any Walking Dead show that's airing, the extended versions will go up over there. So yeah, there's also films, live streams, a lot going on. So the link is down below. The link to my Twitter, Instagram, anywhere that you can find me is also down below. And let's go. I think I think we ended last. We ended the last one with um, going to find Kenny to give him a drink. That's gonna be disastrous. Kenny, sweetheart, do you want some wine? Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some. Yeah, yeah, he's got wine, and he's swinging out of the front of the train. Bad idea, but hey, I can finally get to the fucking map without him bitch slapping me away. What did he do? Go out and just fucking down a shot of wine and then run straight back in? If he gets drunk and falls off the train, it's totally going to be my fault. Can we not like coax him back into the seating area of the train at least? And close the fucking side doors so he can't roll out? Okay, well I don't feel like talking to him just yet. He can stay there and do his thing and have a bit of a cry. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? Fuck off. It was him? It's all my fault. I stood up for you. I was in your corner. What for? Why the hell would you do this? They said they had my friend. That he was with them. By the time I realized they didn't, it was too late. They said they'd kill me. Kill all of us. I'm sorry. Lee. Okay, well, I need time to think about that. You fucking weasel of a human. Come here to me. Do you know how to read a map, Clem? Uh, neither do I, because I was not particularly good at geography. I guess we'll learn together. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> good. Okay, so we need a plan. So, so what's, what's our plan going to be? But we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. Your parents are probably no, still in Savannah, honey. Their corpses are probably still rumbling them. around the streets somewhere, I would say. We can find them on the way. They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. He has no hope in Think finding them. He's like, hey, don't worry about the name of the place. It doesn't matter because they're not there. <laughs> they're dead. I mean, yeah, we'll Maybe go look for really them. Tasty desserts. It's called the M M something Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it. Can I tell my parents? You know. Oh, about him? About his past? Sure. Right. Thank God we were sitting down. What happened to your man who sold us out? He was standing in between the train carts. He was probably flung overboard or chuck. Did he headbutt the glass? Fuck, 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 fuck! Maybe we could walk? That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. You gotta get a hold of yourself. There's a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Kenny no. is so it's argumentative. Really like He's that. really gotta got start shit, shit with everyone. You guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. No, we're friendly. Put your hand down, kid. Can you stop reaching for your gun? We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah. You're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. 
Anything goes sideways up there. Anything goes sideways, I will push them off the bridge. It's fine. You better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find. I already killed a bunch of cannibals this week, and I'm not afraid to go Rambo on someone oh, fucking gosh, else. Okay. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Wait. Train. Stuff is coming train. back to me. We're driving it. Oh man. Is Krista pregnant? Look, you want to help us out? We could use some able bodies and... Yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me? How do you know I'm not her dad? No, he's it's none of your fucking there. business. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. We've been together ever since. And everybody down there, they're cool? Yeah, mostly. Well, I'm not talking shit. I'll say Kenny lost his wife and kid. Kenny's Kenny not going to be happy about that, kid. but at least it's the least mean yeah. thing to say about How any of them. Ago? What you know? time is it? I don't want to sell know, anyone else. Like Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. That train is awesome, though. I chose to tell him. Kenny's gonna get mad. Well, I'm used to Kenny being mad at me. It's because he's gonna get mad at me again, but I'm used to it, so. Alright, well, I guess we're going back downstairs then. They're gonna help us move the truck, but the truck is hanging off the side of the bridge. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes. Like I said. We could use some good people. Yeah, we've had really bad just luck. Hi, and I just found out that Ben was cool. selling us out. We're not looking for charity. The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Well, I guess you were hinting at me to go look at the fucking station. Okay. I'll just walk by myself. Can I follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do. But it's like we're a team. Like you said. They're both really interested in Clem though, in the kid, which is kind of throwing me a little bit. Maybe, like, I mean, like I said, they haven't seen a kid in a while, but at the same time, I don't know, I'm protective of her, you know? Oh, God. Survivor is inside. I don't think there's anybody around. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. That can Sorry. scold us for breaking in. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. <laughs> She's went and stood in the corner. What are you doing, Clem? <clears throat> mm, won't burn. Oh, Clem. Clem, I have a feeling you're going in through Maybe the fucking window. Again? We should be careful. Though. This place is probably full of fucking walkers. She's gonna push the child into a room full okay. of dead. I can see in. Figure out a way to knock this door down. Why would there be a key in the middle of the room? Which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. You fucking genius. Well, I'll be damned. I'll prop it open with something. Use your head. Whoa. Why was the room all fucking foggy there? What was that about? He was having a panic attack because he's scared of the dark. That's okay. It's a very common fear. Okay, so we need a key. Oh, can I put Clementine up in the pipes? There's some space up there, but not much. Clem, your time has come. Yeah, we are. Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Now, where did you come from? What's the time for my lights to go off? Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. Push the left stick to back away. Okay. It's clobbering time. Suck on this wrench. Ooh. Okay, well... You know, that's okay, you froze a little bit, Clem, but that's normal. Okay. Okay, Keys well. Down. Still locked? Yeah, because you didn't take the fucking key. Still oh my god, Jesus. <laughs> there was no... Op I mean, doesn't she have a gun, though? Can't she use the gun? Okay. Well, it works that time. You and an eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? Yes. I'm a very capable individual, and Clem has her strong points also. 
We handled it. I hope you know what you're doing with her. How dare she come in here and judge me? Oh, go fuck yourself. I hope you know what you're doing with her. I mean, I've been with her since day one of the outbreak, so clearly I do. You've known her half an hour and you think you know her better? Oh, 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 where's the fucking blowtorch? I want to get this blowtorch and go and fix the train and be like, mm, there. Outside now. Come on, so Clem. That was a teachable moment. Yeah, that crystal one's really after pissing me off with that comment. I hope you know what you're doing with her. We're still alive. I'm teaching her stuff. I'm doing my fucking best, Krista. Who the fuck are you anyway to be passing judgment? Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Actually, Should make quick work of the couple up there. <laughs> As he walks toward Krista and your man. That's about the only useful thing in here. Stop signs are useful. You could fucking smack someone into the head with a stop sign. Let's just start blow torching. I don't have the patience. I'm just gonna start ripping into this fucking thing, okay? I don't even know how to use a blowtorch. So. What's that? The hose has a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Your eyebrows will be fine. I have duct tape in my pocket. Yeah, I have duct tape. Yeah. That's why we go scavenging. Look at that. Now I solved the problem before it even crazy. It, it presented itself. Just about got it. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. It's cut again. Can't reach it now. Can we not drive it forward? Can we drive the truck? Can somebody be sitting in the truck putting putting her in drive? I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are? Wait, what? We're dangling this poor fucking dude over the ledge? God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? <laughs> hey, buddy. How about you fucking tell us about the herds that's approaching? This guy's gonna fuck us over a second time. There's something coming. Don't pay attention to the herds. Do not pay attention to the herds. Just keep God, cutting God. that fucking thing, dude. I am. Hi. Jump. No. Jump, damn it. He'll know. Dude, either you jump or you stay. Shit. Oh, you fucking moron! How did you bounce that violently off the train? Come on, get up so we can pull your fella in. Wait, I could only save one! Did he... Did he just... Oh. oh my god, I thought he died. Oh... I thought it was a case of we just pulled them both up. I didn't think I was choosing. We're okay. Speak for yourself. My leg is fucked. Well, maybe your leg wouldn't be fucked if you hadn't hesitated. If you just jumped off the fucking bridge when I told you to jump off the bridge. You know the saying? If your friend jumped off a bridge, would you jump off a bridge? The answer should be yes. Krista just accepted that though. Like, he fell slightly behind the train. And Krista was like, oh, he's gone. <laughs> what a creepy way to stand up. <laughs> Shit, I just realized my phone is not on charge. Oh, he drew a picture of them. I notice how even in that picture, Kenny isn't like smiling. Kenny even looks angry in the picture that Clementine drew. We have to find a boat. We just have to. We will. I'll leave you to your thoughts. Lee's like, I don't want to deal with that. Okay. So cool, like I've never seen. What the? What the fuck? Wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me, whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I mean... Holy shit. I thought that fucking thing was broken. So did I. Who the well, fuck has she been talking to on the radio? Like somebody knows where we're headed. Maybe it was Eugene from The Walking Dead. He had a fucking radio towards the end of the show. Know, but I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. I'm not trusting this content on the other side of the radio, though. Not a hope in hell. It's time to wake up and be like, hey, who the fuck is your long-distance radio buddy? 60% of players did not shoot her, so okay. Did you abandon Lily? 45% of players left her. Ooh, I'm in the minority with that one. 45% of players talked him down about Kenny. I'm in the minority with that, too. Okay, I'm, I'm heavy in the majority with the... Shooting duck. That makes sense. Did you help Omid? 40% of players. Okay, the only reason I didn't help Omid is because that motherfucker ran past me out of my sight of vision and your one was right in front of me. So I just clicked the, you know, help button and she came up first. I thought we could just pick him up then afterwards. 
I didn't know I was making a decision at the time. So we ended yet another part. The next part is the last part, isn't it? Oh my god, that was so good. So already we're at Savannah, or we're coming into Savannah. There's some stranger on the walkie-talkie who's clearly been in talks with Clementine. I'm not happy about that. Oh my god, no. That's fine. I'll kick their asses anyway, whoever they are. We should really wake her up first of all and be like, hey, who is this person? How long have you been talking to them? What have they promised you and what do they want you to do? We have not yet talked Clem the stranger danger rule. So it makes sense that she think it's okay to talk to some fucking psychopath on the radio. Yeah, but that's it for this part, this episode of The Walter, I guess, because we finished a whole other chunk. Uh, like I said at the beginning, the link to my Instagram, Twitter, Patreon, anywhere else you can find me is in the description down below. If you want to come and hang out on other platforms, then you can find me elsewhere. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all soon.